Thanks to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We shall never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Our dear God, we come before you right now, Master. Thanking you for another day of life, Father. Thanking you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Thanking you, Father, for the finger of love that touched us this morning. Thanking you, Father, for allowing your darling son, your only begotten son, to come down off of that lofty throne in heaven, sitting at your side, Master, to die on Calvary's hill for our sins to be forgiven. And for that, Master, we say thank you. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to be able to stand and exist in your presence at this time, Father. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to be able to gather before you in your house of prayer and your house of worship just one more time. Thank you, Father, for this family, this church family, Father. I ask, Father, that you continue to pour down your Holy Spirit and your blessings and touch even in every, every household represented this morning, Master. I ask, Father, that you continue to bind us together, to continue to unite us together in love, Father. Father, I pray for those ones that may not be among us this morning, those ones that may be sick and shut in, that bereaved family, Father, that is looking towards you for guidance, and strength and understanding, Father. And above all, Father, we're looking for that perfect peace that only you and you can provide, Father. I ask, Master, that you that you crown the one that's standing in John's shoes with a, with a crown of, of wisdom this morning, Father. As he stands before your people, Master, allow your Holy Spirit to rain down upon him. Give him a word, Father. As he stand before your people, Father, and speak boldly as he pour out, Master, I ask that you continue to fill him up. Anoint him anew, Father. And the words that he speak, may they be words of you and you alone, Father. Amen. In order that each and every one present, Father, will be touched by your word. In order that your word may go out, just not in these four walls, Master, but in the streets and in the byways, Father. In order that a work that needs to be done will continue to move forward. Father, I pray for each and every household, Father. I ask that you continue to walk through Touch everyone. Take away all the pain and all the worry. All the sickness and all the illness. It will oh, be your will, Father. I pray for this nation, Father. I pray for this country, Father. I pray for those ones that are taking the spiritual lead and the ones that are in authority over us, Father. Because the seat that they sit in, Father, it was because of you that you allowed it to be so. So, Father, I just ask that you continue to walk with those ones in order that the work is being done, is being done in your name. Father, as we lay down our burdens at your feet, Father, I just ask that you be with those ones that may be downhearted and trodden, those trials and tribulations that we face every day, Father. We know that there is a purpose, and only you know what that purpose is, Father, so I just ask that you grant us patience. I ask that you grant us strength. I ask that you grant us wisdom, Father, and please, my Master, continue to give us that peace. And now, Lord, as we allow this worship service to be done in your name, we ask that you allow your will to be done, Father. May we submit to that will. Father, we beg your forgiveness when we have fallen short of your great and holy name, Father. I ask that you help us to love our neighbor and, and please forgive one another, Father. And may we look in the mirror, Master, and forgive that one looking back. Now, Master, once again, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for being the God that you are. Thank you for doing what you are doing right now. Thank you for doing the things that you have done. And we praise you in advance for all the things that are yet to be fulfilled. And, Father, we once again just want to lift up the name of Jesus as we come together as one and united in worship and prayer. In thy son's name, we give you thanks and we do pray, Father. In the name of your son, Jesus, our Lord, King and Savior, we give you thanks. Amen. 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 Let's say amen. amen. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. But thou wilt draw thyself from me. Oh, where shall I go? What did thy only son endure? 
for I do my breath. What pain, what labor to secure my soul from endless rest. Amen. As we are called to worship this morning, would you please stand for the responsive reading in the back of the new hymnal. Ushers, make sure the hymnal are placed on the back of the pews. Amen. Ushers, be sure to make sure the hymnals are placed on the back of the pew. Reverend Bill Spears is coming for our responsive reading, and she's going to give us a number. And what number? 572. 572 in the back of the hymnal. 572 in the back of the new hymnal. Coming from 2 Peter, 1st chapter, the 2nd through the 11th verse, 3rd chapter, 17 through the 18th verse. Amen. Grace. Amen. And peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According to his divine power, has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises, mm -hmm. that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Mm -hmm. this, all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patient godliness. And to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you, mm -hmm. and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh like these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and has forgot that he was great. Wherefore, be rather, brethren, give diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Follow. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know that these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness all. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. You might be seated. Thank you so much, Reverend Spears, for leading our responsive reading this morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. I pray that you've had a blessed week. I pray that the Lord have, amen, watched over you all week long. Amen. That he has, even when you fail, amen, I forgot to tell him thank you. Yes. I pray that he continue to bless you to the point that you realize that we owe him right. and that we haven't got anything to pay him with. Amen. So, amen. We just tell him thank you, thank you, and thank you. We even, amen, amen, thank you. Even the services that we render to him is sometimes half-hearted, but yet he blesses us. Amen. Amen. What a joy and a privilege to know a God like that. Amen. amen. Even even when Amen, when He tells you to go right and you go to the left, He still blesses you. Amen. 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 We give Him glory, honor, praises, and all of the thanksgiving. It's good to be alive amen. as we acknowledge the goodness of the Lord. Amen. amen. To each of you on this first first Sunday of worship. Amen. In the presence of the Lord, in his own time, in his own time, has God slated that we, amen, worship in this place every Sunday. Amen. amen. And I believe that God is pleased. Amen. I believe that he is so pleased. Amen. That if we can just stop thinking that we are an island and come together, amen, God is going to take us to higher heights and deeper depth. Y'all put your hands together. Amen. We give God glory, honor, praise, and all of the thanksgiving. 
Amen. Amen. To the preacher this morning, Reverend Spear, Reverend Spear, and Reverend Green. To the deacons, visiting deacons. Amen. To the deaconess, to the ministers' wives and widows, to my wife this morning. Amen. Amen. To the mother of the church. Amen. To the ushers. How y'all like this choir? Y'all put your hands together for this choir. Amen. Amen. I like this choir. Y'all like this choir? Amen. If you like this choir, come on and, and put your hands together. Amen. That means we got to keep it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for the choir. But mostly we thank him for you. Amen. That occupies the pew. Thank you for taking the time to realize that you needed to worship on this Sunday morning and that you've chose to worship in this place. Amen? Amen. And we greet each of you. As I've said, this is our first, first Sunday, amen, of worship at this church. God has slated that from now on. Amen. We worship every Sunday amen. in this place. Amen. amen. Don't you think that's a blessing? Amen. It's been a long time coming. But finally, God has seen fit to bring it to pass. So as we worship this morning, let me just, amen, and, 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 amen. I left pastoring another church, and I've got one unfinished, amen, engagement that I need to do today. So I will worship the day. It's going to be worship, but immediately I'm going to leave. But after today, every first Sunday, if it's the Lord's will, we are going to do communion. Amen. Amen. So, so make plans to be present on first Sunday if you want communion. We will. Amen. Amen. If it's the Lord's will. Amen. 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 God bless each of you as we worship together. Um, words of welcome. Words of welcome. Um, Samantha Moore, would you come and amen, greet everybody and offer words of welcome. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pastor. You may proceed. All um, pulpit guests, Sister Brown, we would like to welcome you to uh, New Providence Baptist Church. Anytime our doors are open, you are welcome to come in and give God your praise. Amen. You are welcome to sing, shout, pray, whatever the Spirit leads you to do. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Thank you, Sister Moore, for giving us that welcome. Let me just, I want to commend the, the non-deacon brotherhood for the anniversary. Y'all give them a hand. Lorenzo Jackson and, and all of the brethren. Amen. Thank y'all for a job well done. And that's just the beginning. Um, in this business, God has worked for everybody. Amen. And we don't want to miss anybody that want to work. Amen. 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 Announcements. Let me just thank the Lord for our new convert. I have your, your membership certificate back on my desk, so next Sunday I'll present it if that's okay. Amen. Thank the Lord for the new convert. Sister Janie Jackson. Saturday, 1 o'clock. Saturday afternoon. This coming Saturday, 1 o'clock. Amen. Would you please join the missions with our meeting. Sister Bryant. Good morning. Morning. Um, there is one scholarship that's left for any graduating high school student if the deadline is May 15th. Uh, I have that and I don't have it in here with me. I have it in the car, but if you're interested, I'll get a copy of the car with you. Also, Vacation Bible School will start here on May 5th through the 5th and 9th from 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. If you as an adult Amen. Amen. Thank you for uh, Natalie. You may proceed. Hold on. Hold on. Can everybody hear Natalie? Amen. If you don't mind, amen. Thank you. Amen. I, if we're going to do it, there's another invitation. 
that you can read also while you're while you're reading if you don't mind it. Amen. Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Jerome Pace, Pastor, Re Dr. Reverend Calhoun, Jr., Speaker, H. Pace, Speaker, so two speakers, May 31st through June 2nd, Annual Church Revival Services. Dear Pastor and Church family, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are celebrating our annual church revival services. Please accept our cordial invitation to worship with us on June 2nd at 7.30 p.m. Your officers, ushers, choir, and entire church family are in charge. On Sunday, June 4th, we will celebrate our Men's Day program at 11 a.m. Your presence and participation will be appreciated. Yours in Christ, Reverend Jerome Pace, Sister Brenda Ellington, program. Shady Grove Missionary Baptist Church, Cordial, Georgia, Pastor Kelvin Drake Sr. To New Providence Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Brown. The Shady Grove Baptist Church will celebrate the 11th anniversary of Pastor Kelvin Drake Sr. The anniversary celebration will begin Tuesday, May 23rd through Thursday, May 25th, 2023 at 7 p.m. nightly. We're inviting church and pastor Dr. Marvin Brown to be in charge of the service on Wednesday, May 24th, 2023 at 7 p.m. The anniversary will climax on Sunday, May 23rd. Can't be. May 28th, maybe that is. But anyway, on Sunday, Hold on just a second. That's okay. Just okay, give us. Okay, but May, on that Sunday, during regular morning worship at 11 a.m. with Chief A.B. Rambo, Jr. and Greater Refuge of Deliverance Ministries of Tallahassee, Florida, in charge of the service. If some reason you cannot accept this invitation, please contact one of the following people. It's got some deacons' names and their numbers. Thank you in advance. Um, Deacon Bobby Barner, Chairman of the Deacons. Deacon Sam Mumphrey, Vice Chairman, Shawana Davis, Church Secretary, Kevin E. Drake, Senior Pastor. Amen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Here's a card up here. Has somebody read that already? I think it's already, it's, it has already been okay. read. Amen. Thank you so kindly. Any other announcement? Yes. Youth choir rehearsal will be Saturday at 11 a.m. Youth choir rehearsal, Saturday coming at 11 a.m. Um, let me remind the church, and I know most of you probably know the, that Sarah Smith's brother has passed away in Kentucky, and I'm, I'm not certain when they're going to be leaving to go to Kentucky, but I'm asking on their behalf that you allow your compassion to be activated toward Sarah Smith and her family. Any other, any other announcement? Any other announcement? If there are no other announcements, we're going to pre pre prepare for altar call. If you need prayer, you want to come to the altar and you're wearing a mask, you might come. Dig a mower. Come on and lead us in prayer. Amen. Take us to the throne of grace. Uh, if that's a person want to come in, let them in while Dick and Moore is coming. Um, you can come to the altar. You can just stand right where you are as, as Deacon, Deacon Arthur Moore Amen. Take us to the throne of grace. Will you please stand if you desire prayer? Good morning. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. The Lord saw fit to bring us this way to New Providence Baptist Church this morning. We could have went to the left, but we came to the right. Amen. Amen. Let's bow here for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we couldn't even bow down in our lives today, Lord, saying thank you. Lord, we ask you as we decrease your increase, Master. Please, Lord, lift us up where we turn down right now, Lord. Lord, we need you right now, Master. Yes. yes. Please, sir. Yes, Lord. Dear Heavenly yes, Father, Lord, I ask you right now, Lord, Lord please, lead me the way you have me to go, Lord. Mm. 
and speak to someone who needs to right now, Lord. If someone daughters and sons out there need to, Lord, we didn't come for no shape, form, or fashion this morning, Lord. Right. So I ask you, please, Lord, thank you. Just lead us, Lord. Lift us up, Lord. Show us the way, Lord. Thank you for our early arrival this morning, All Master. Right. All right. We just want to say thank you, thank Lord. You. Yes, thank you for the food on our table, our clothes on our back, Lord. Right. We All say right. thank you right now, Lord. Mm -hmm. But right now, Lord, we just thank you for this entire world right mm -hmm. now, Master, who yes, moved right. you, Lord. We're going through so much Christ and hate. Lord, just join us together to get on one accord, knowing that you're God all by yourself. You're too yeah. to make a yeah. mistake, Master. All right. I just ask you, Lord, please, Lord, show us the way, Lord. Mm -hmm. Use the way, the truth, and the light, Lord. And I know right now, Lord, you, you had your hand all around me mm -hmm. from the day I was born, Lord. All right. Came out my mama's womb. I say thank you right thank now, Master. Yes, sir. Please, sir, Lord. All right. Please, Lord, bless this man who's going to stand in general shoes and bring the Lord from your heart right now, Lord. I just ask you, lift them up, bring us a word from all night right now, Lord. And Lord, when they're all well saying, and Lord, please, go out to the nursing home oh, and not to the prison, Lord, yes, to the hospital, Lord. Someone on their back right now needs you right now, Lord. Mm -hmm. If someone walking down the street, Lord, don't know which way to go, Lord, but lift them up, Lord. Yes, bring them all in right yes, now, Lord. Yes, I yes, ask you, Lord, if someone's son and daughter, Lord, I don't have a heart and joy, Lord. Please, Lord, touch them, Lord. All right. Please, Master. We can't worry about the world, Lord, because we worry about the world yes, and the streets, Lord. We're going to get left behind, and we can answer right now, Lord. Right Please, now, Jesus. touch us right now, Lord. Right now, Master. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we just ask you. Amen. 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 Put your hands together now for the choir once again. Thank you, Deacon Moore, for taking us to the throne of grace.
Hallelujah. Most holy and gracious Father, just as we stand only in your presence, we acknowledge your goodness toward us. We acknowledge, Master, that you've been far better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we tell you thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, you've been so kind and merciful unto us. You've kept us safe for a whole week, Master. Yes, night after night, you allowed us to lay down and sleep all night. Yes, and then morning after morning, you waken us to new mercies. Yes, this morning being no different. You, you, you have awakened us this morning to new mercies. And Lord, with our new mercies, you've been kind enough to bring us into your presence. And Lord, since you brought us into your presence, move on the altars of our hearts. Open our minds and our understanding in such a manner that when we leave this sanctuary, we leave with a different spirit than when we enter. Lord, move on the altars of our hearts on this day. Have us to know that you are God. You said high and you look low. Have us to know that you rule and you super rule. I have us to know that you still hold the reins of time in your hands. And, and you have allowed our golden mother to roll on a little while longer. We tell you, thank you, Master. Seems so inadequate because of all you've done for us. But, Lord, that's all we got. Thank you. Thank you for right now. Thank you for moving on our hearts to give you more time, amen, month after month. Bless our coming together. And as you bless us, cause us to bless this community. We do pray in Jesus' name. And the people of God say it, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. As I've indicated, it's going to be brief, but amen. It is the word of God Amen. in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. 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 Chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. And here are the reading of these verses. And Saul, yet breathing out threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest. And the side of him led us to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shone round about him a light from heaven. Mm, my, my, my. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus, whom thou persecuted. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Amen. Amen. Out of this text, real quick, amen, we're going to shift the atmosphere. Amen. We are going to shift the atmosphere. And it goes like this. When the atmosphere is shifted, a change will take place. When the atmosphere is shifted, amen, a change will take place. Amen. We, we thank God for the earth atmosphere. Amen. For without it, amen, in the summer, we would burn up. Right. Or in the winter, we would freeze to death. 
And from time to time, there is a shifting in the atmosphere. We, we, as I've said, we are, amen, the Lord is shifting the atmosphere in New Providence. And if God is shifting the atmosphere in New Providence, a change must take place. Amen? Every, every Sunday, if it's the Lord's will, every Sunday, amen, we, we will be blessed to come into the presence of the Lord. And I believe in my heart, amen, that, that, that God is so pleased with us, amen, hallelujah, that he is going to take this church right. to higher heights yes. and deeper depths right. in him. And the reason he's going to do that is because, amen, we are learning, amen, to come together as a family. Amen. Reading in, 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 in the letters of John, Amen. John writes, Amen. That's where I've been doing Bible study from. Amen. John writes, Amen, that we are God's little children. Amen. And if we are God's little children, Amen, our problems, Amen, that, that happen among us must be taken care of by the family. We read first John. Amen. So so as we come together, as we come together, the, the, the atmosphere, amen, is, is, is shifting, and God is, God is going to do great things in our lives. Amen. In order, amen, in order for this to happen, amen, there can be no parking allowed. Uh, let me pause there. What, what do I mean by no parking allowed? You can't just get in a position and sit there and do nothing. A amen. We, we, Mary Taylor, we, we, we like to get the head of something and just sit there. You can't get a position and, and, and uh, amen, uh, let the church give you a position and you just sit there. No parking allowed. If you can't move, amen, with the position, amen. get out of the way. Amen. That's what the Bible teaches. Amen. Jesus says, amen, I, I've got this gardener. Amen. And the reason I got this garden is because I have this vineyard. And in this vineyard, I got all of these trees. And I need somebody to take care of the trees, to prune them and to fertilize them. But if the tree, amen, does not produce, y'all with me? I, 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 I don't want to go long. Amen. He says to the farmer, cut it down. Get it out of the way. Amen. Amen. Throw it in the trash pile. Burn it up. So, amen. There can be no parking. You can't. You can't just get in the choir and sit there. I'm in the choir. The very first, amen, requirement that God gives to the church in the 28th chapter of Matthew is teaching. And every time God sends a pastor to a church, amen, that pastor is responsible for the teaching in that church. However, he will not do it all. Amen. God will put in the church, amen, so see him, what he needs. Amen. He will give an overseer, but the overseer is just that. God's overseer, watching over what belongs to God. Let me, let me, let me go on with my, let me go on with my message. Amen. Amen. In order for this to happen, there can be no parking allowed. And the reason there can be no parking allowed, no man is an island. Do I need to say that again? Hallelujah. So let me talk about, amen, shifting this atmosphere. Amen. When, when, amen, when to say, be quiet. I'm, I'm, maybe this, this is our first time. It won't be like this always. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Change negative. Amen. For positive. Replace evil with good. Bind Satan by leaving him no space or energy because it's all taken up, amen, by the presence of God. 
Amen. Rebuke Satan. Get, get, get him out of the way. And the best way to get him out of the way, amen, is to put God in his place. Mm. God is often. So, so, amen, shifting the atmosphere, amen, is about not waiting, amen, but intentionally moving on God's behalf as you are guided by the Holy Spirit. Right. Can I get a witness? Yes, the atmosphere changes from time to time. Amen. But, amen, in this place, prayerfully is going to shift and the change that it's going to bring about. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. It's going to benefit the Lord, this church, and this community. Amen. 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 And, and, and that all is saying, and I'm going I'm to finish the text because I just read the. Listen. This community, this church, belonged to this community. But there was a time when, when Jesus told his disciples, don't y'all go nowhere. You go somewhere and sit down and wait. And, 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 and while you're waiting, and then when I get ready, I'm going to give you something. And the thing that I'm going to give you is something going to give you power. That you can take what I have taught you, amen, and give it to somebody else. Jesus didn't have no great multitude. Well, he had a great mother too. But he couldn't deal with the multitude because the multitude was not real. So he picked out 12 men, and one of them was a devil. Right. Can I get a witness? Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get to my take. I'm, 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 I'm got... <sighs> Shifting the atmosphere. Uh -huh. And, and, and law can shift it in a heartbeat. Remember when they were crossing the lake? Them, them, them fishermen were riding on the boat. Everything was gone along real good. All of a sudden, God shifted the atmosphere. Y'all know what happened when God shifted the atmosphere? There was a storm of Rome. Can I get a witness? But this, this, this citizen, this, this scholar, this highly educated scholar, amen, a, a, amen, did not believe the gospel that was being preached. Can, can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah, the preacher was, was telling the story, amen, about Jesus, about how, amen, amen, he had come down from heaven, yeah. how, how he had fed the hungry, yeah. how he had, amen, raised the dead, yeah. how, how he had, amen, healed the sick, yeah. how he had given sight to the blind, and, 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 and he said, and yet, Amen. You hung him on a cross. He says that same Jesus, Joseph boy, the one that grew up in Nazareth and, and worked in a carpenter shop, that, that same, that same Joseph. Hallelujah. That y'all hang on a tree. Laid him in the heart of the earth. That same Joel has God raised from the dead. Y all, y all, can I get a witness? The Bible says. Amen. Uh, uh, hallelujah. That same Jesus that God raised from the dead. And, and he was so sad. Now, this is the educated man. He was so, amen, sure that he was right. Amen. When the gospel was preached, he would, amen, go and, hallelujah, take men and women, bind them up, put them in jail, and when, amen, time for court, he'll come back and prosecute, put some to death. And God, all right. See, if it doesn't line up with the word of God, amen, you need to rethink the thing. To, 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 to. Hallelujah. He was working in Jerusalem. And every time the gospel was preached, and he heard about the gospel preached, he would go and take, hallelujah, men and women, as I've already said, and, 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 and arrest them, put them in jail. And when he thought he had done enough in Jerusalem, he goes to the high priest. Get orders from the high priest uh -huh. to go to Damascus and amen and 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 stop the same lie about Jesus had been raised from the dead. Yeah. The high priest gave him amen the letter, but how many know the letter didn't come from Jesus? It ain't what the papers read. Y'all gonna let me close? Uh, if somebody ought to help me, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he got he got the letter from the high priest, and and now he gets his crew and they are heading. Amen. To Damascus. Isn't God all right? I'm almost finished. And on the way to Damascus, as he was riding, God shifted the atmosphere. 
Oh, help me know. So I'm about to go to my suit. And when God shifted the atmosphere, amen, there was a light shine, amen, out of heaven that was brighter than the noonday sun. As a matter of fact, it was so bright. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, hallelujah. That it knocked them off his beast. And why, because why he was laying there on the ground. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. He heard the voice and saw, saw, why are you persecuting me? It's hard to kick against the prick. So while he was laying there on the ground, he realized that the atmosphere had shifted. And since the atmosphere had shifted in his life, he cried out, no, what would you have me to do? It's not all right. You ought to ask the Lord the question, Jesus, what would you have me to do? Jesus said to him, go ahead, amen, where you started. Hallelujah. I got power to let you go on to the master. But when you get there, I got a different agenda for you. It's not all right. Go down to Straight Street, and there's a man by the name of Ananias who will lay his hands on you. It's not all right. The atmosphere shifted on him. And when it shifted on him, he cried, Lord, what would you have me to do? He go down to Hallelujah Straight Street. Couldn't see because, amen, the power of God had blinded his eyes. He gets to Straight Street and Ananias go in and lay hands on him. When he lay hands on him, the scale fell from his eyes. He began to tell that same story that he had been kicking to death. Hallelujah, went down a rally and stayed with the Lord for three whole years. And when the three years was up, he began to preach in Jerusalem and all around because his atmosphere had shifted. As I get ready to go to my seat, can I tell you another time when the atmosphere shifted? Y'all remember when they hanged Jesus on the old rugged cross? They hung him early one Friday morning, nine o'clock one Friday morning, and he hung there from nine o'clock, amen, to twelve o'clock. When twelve o'clock rolled around, God shifted the atmosphere. Can I get a witness? And when God shifted the atmosphere, amen, the moon, hallelujah, just away in blood, the sun refused to shine. God man was all over the land. And God all right, so in the darkness while he was hanging on the cross, crying out, My God, my God, why have you turned your back on me? He died on that old ready cross. They took him off the cross and laid him in the grave. But early, early one Sunday morning, he got out the grave with all power. the atmosphere and whenever the atmosphere is shifted there is a change that follows the shifting of the atmosphere I'm so thankful that only God can shift the atmosphere and that all right and in this building in this family God is shifting the atmosphere and in shifting the atmosphere a change must take place Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. Shifting the atmosphere. Because when the atmosphere is shifted, a change will take place. Amen. Amen. Let's say so, amen. amen. You love the Lord, say so amen. amen. Glory, hallelujah. One more and soon.
Have you heard the angels singing? Have you really, have you heard the angels singing? Oh, it was the up above my head. Oh, up above my head. The door of the church is open. Oh, Lord, up above my head. I heard the angels singing. Let's just say amen. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. Most holy and gracious Father, yes. we thank you for, for right now. Yes, thank you for your word amen. and mostly for your Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, I thank you for the change that you are bringing to this family. Amen. And Lord, since you are the one bringing the change, in that change, Lord, bind us together as only you can. And as you bind us together, Lord, cause us to be able to walk hand in hand as sisters and brothers and children of yours. And as we do that, Lord, take us to higher heights and, and deeper depths and you cause us to know how to live peacefully with one another. God bless this church family. Those who have lost their way, Lord, shine a light on the path so they can find their way back home. Lord, those who are on a downward road, Lord, somehow you stay with them until you get ready to bring them home. And then, Lord, those that are at the crossroads and don't know which way to go, direct their footsteps so that they are able to walk in the path of righteousness. Lord, be with this congregation. Hold them in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand and cause us Amen. To be a blessing not only in this church, but in this community as well. Lord, we pray now for those who are sick and shut in. We lift them before you, knowing that you are a mighty good doctor. We ask that it's in your will to heal. But then, if it's not, Master, take them out of their suffering as only you can. We do pray and ask in Jesus' name. Lord, as we stand here, recognizing how you have blessed us day in and, and day out. We, we, be, we believe in our heart, Lord, that you've given us income. And Lord, since you've given us income, and now you brought us into your presence, we are going to bring some of that income that you have blessed us with, amen, and dedicate it, give it back to you, knowing that if we do that, Lord, you will forever bless. So as we bring our gifts to the altar, we ask that you be so pleased with our giving that you readily receive them and bless those who are given. I do ask in your name. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and present your faultless for the presence of his glory. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. And all the people of God shall sing together. Amen. Amen.